Yeah, yeah well, like, Reds was a, fine, a perfect example. When he first came to the club, we never thought he was going to be a fighter. He had that skateboarder look, you know. He had them stupid shoes on and baseball cap and was 88 kilos or something like this. And, you know, for the four or six months, we never thought he'd make it as a fighter. But he kept coming training. Like, and then we've other, other guys that come in here, I won't mention names, and full of talent. Six months training, pick everything up. But, you know, you, you can't get them up two days in a row training. Reds are kept coming back, coming back. Come. Same as Siri, they're here all the time. Siri's here coaching because right? he's no fight coming up, he does the MMA class. They're, they're always in the gym, they're always training. Oh, yeah, he used to watch it on the uh, same as everyone else. He used to just watch it at, uh, on Bravo. It was an old show on uh, the UK stations. Um, just like watching all the fights, and I was a little bit overweight myself, and uh, I just, just, just uh, wanted to come down, just lose a bit of weight, train, and never thought I'd get into the competition side of it. And um, just walking hard, walked hard at it, and Andy asked me did I want to fight, I took a fight, and I got beaten in about 15 seconds, got choked unconscious, and I just, the guy I was fighting was really, really uh, solid, at 84 kilos, had a lot of weight on me, and Andy just said, look, we get down the weight, I won two or three more at that, and moved down again, just it's progressed from there. Sometimes it's, it's the guy that's not getting the attention, or the guy that's not the superstar, to the year later you look around him, you say, fuck the hell, he's at to improve, and you know, he's at to really getting good, you know? So they're the guys we've got to look out for more than the, the superstar guy coming in. Reds are grows, you see him, and every fight he's growing, you know? Neil Siri fights to the death and fights, you know? And that's what I want to go. If he loses, no big deal. Once you leave everything in the, in the cage, that's all I want, you know? That's two years ago, you fought in Battlezone and lost the fight to... Uh, Tom, Tom, yeah. Tom, very nice fella. Terrible nice bloke. Um, yeah, it was just one of them things that it was... I, we, we were, I was originally uh, scheduled to face somebody else and he pulled out on two weeks and um, Tom took the fight on two weeks notice and uh, Tom was... Everyone was telling me how good Tom was and he was he, he was around a long time. A lot of fights had fought... He, he had already fought in Cage Warriors and... The likes of them, you know, just one of them teams that got caught in position, just got hammered for, hammered for about 30, 40 seconds. What happened with that was, that fight with Tom McGuire, mentally he wasn't ready. Mentally it was too big of a fight, and I was giving him a, a, a title on our show, and, and everyone telling him how good Tom was, and they were telling him how good Reds was, you know, they were, Thomas this, Thomas that, and Tom is a very good fighter, and he is, he's probably one of the, 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 the names in Ireland that guys don't talk about, but he is very good. And I think Reds are after that, he said to himself, you know, you're not going to do this again. You know, I'm as good as these guys, I'm better than these guys. And you see it in each fight. He slowed the fourth round, but he keeps coming. And keeps going. And he listens, that's the main thing with him. It's just, I wasn't going to let it happen again, you know what I mean? That's it. If anyone comes into the gym, you gotta, anybody like anybody walks into the gym now to spar that and like that, you, you, you give as good as you get, you know what I mean? So why should a fight be any different, you know what I mean? Hopefully, hopefully Neil Siri gets the call, you know? He's getting a little bit older now. He's put the work in. Everyone who's given him, he's beaten and beaten well. And everyone he's fought, he's like, he's five fights. Uh, you know, he's the underdog. He's too old. He's going to get beat. And he stops guys, you know. And I think Reds will have a good shot with getting in there. Reds is really doing really good with Cage Warriors. And he's the same. Every fight he's fought in, he's the underdog. And he's, you know, he's stopping guys in second rounds, you know. And he, he's getting to be the full package. He's learning. That's obviously the long term goal. But I mean, every person in Ireland and England is trying to do the same thing and the rest of Europe. And the rest of the world, it's a tough cookie to crack, in it, but just keep a clean record and just hopefully look at you, you know what I mean? Would you have any interest in uh, entering the Ultimate Fighter were it to come at your way? Of course, yeah. Um, yeah, why not? That's that's obviously a, a solid route to get into the UFC. They don't have to look at Norman Park. He, he beat everyone hands down there. And best of luck to him. He's, he's had to go on, um, 2 and now in the UFC. He beat Colin Fletcher and beat, uh, beat a really good guy the last time. Well, uh, so yeah, best of luck to him. Carl here does a lot of hunting. Big Carl is like um, a big guy here, about 120 kilos, and he, he's not a bad MMA fighter, and he's a, one of our brown belts in Jiu Jitsu, but he does all the hunting, and he's, he actually shouldn't be here. He, he looks like he should be in the swamps in Louisiana or somewhere like that, or Florida. But he put the badge up, and they're all his medals on it. So, so that's from.